Welcome in. We are the Bourbon Brothers, and you are watching the Liquid Courage Show. Ken, this is it. Our first show. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Explain to me why we're doing this. I have, I have no idea what we're doing. Well, first of all, if you have no idea what the hell we're doing, I highly recommend that you click the banner in one of these corners and uh, watch our video where we where we introduce the show and actually cover more details on what this show is all about. But if you're too lazy to do that, um, here's a quick 411. We publish a new show every week. It's called The Liquid Curd Show because we both have never done this before and need liquid courage to do this. Um, and we release the show in three parts. Part one will kick things off with a tasting and discussion of a spirit, usually a bourbon. We will then continue to enjoy that beverage throughout parts two and three, which we will cover a favorite television series, starting with the pilot. And each week we will go episode by episode all the way through to the series finale. So part one, discussion of a beverage, Part two will cover one half of an episode, and part three will cover the remaining half. Clear as mud? Excellent. Tonight, <laughs> Seems simple enough. <laughs> tonight, we're going to kick off the show with a discussion um, of a bourbon, which we'll talk about in just a minute, and the pilot episode of Kurt Sutter's Sons of Anarchy. So... Watch now, on. Now, John, let this this is not a new show. Let's get that out there first and <laughs> foremost, right? This is a 12-year-old show that originally aired in 2008, and we're deciding to talk about this now. So we might want to give a little background of what's going on. Fair point. Yes, if you're, if you're out looking for Sons of Anarchy on uh, your local television station, it won't be there. Uh, as Ken rightly pointed out, this show aired back in 2008. Um, but the entire series is available right now on Hulu. And as far as why we chose Sons of Anarchy, again, go back and watch the intro video. We cover it all there. Um, but we have chosen Sons of Anarchy as the first series we're going to do. Tonight, we'll start with the pilot. And so if you're catching this for the first time, it's an opportunity for you to Go to your Hulu account, watch Sons of Anarchy. You can watch the episode that we'll be covering next week. And we're going to announce the bourbon that we're drinking uh, next week at the end of this show. So if you want to follow along, you can actually go out, pick up the same bourbon we're going to be drinking. You can watch the same episode we're going to be discussing and join us for the ride. Um, so we also want to hear from you. So please use the comment section below, ask us your questions, provide feedback and suggestions, send us your hate comms. It's all fair game. Uh, you can also email your questions to us at ask at bourbonbros, B-R-O-S dot TV. And if your questions don't suck, we might even answer them on a future episode. And, and even so if they do suck, with that out of the way, them, right? Ken, let's... Yeah, I mean, sure. Hey, at this point, we just love to get a question. Let's be honest. So we'll probably read anything at this point. But yes, do send us your questions. And with that out of the way, let's officially kick off our first show with what I already know will be my favorite question each and every week. And that question is, Ken... What are we drinking tonight? Well, tonight we're going to go with the Bullet Bourbon. Now, I don't know if you've had this before. I, I certainly I, have. I, I, I don't have a lot left. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest there. It, I've, I've had it before, but uh, I thought it would be a good one to start off with. Yeah, and I, I think it's a great one as well, because if, if somebody is stumbling across this show for the first time, there's a fair chance they have bullet in their cabinet. It's a pretty 
common staple bourbon. So literally, you could click pause right now, run down, pour yourself a glass, and come on back and join us. So we did choose something that is more of what I would call mainstream. Um, we'll get into some lesser known and rare bourbons on future shows, but I think Bullet is absolutely appropriate to kick this thing off. So hold that back up for the camera in case somebody is not familiar with Bullet. This is Bullet. Yep. And I love the bottle. It looks like it's from the 1800s. It's just a mm -hmm. great, great bottle design. Um, so you don't have to open it because it's already open, but let's go ahead and, and pour ourselves a glass. And while you do that, I'll just give some of the, the kind of quick details. So um, the full proper name is Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. We're not doing the rye. We're doing the, the original uh, Frontier Whiskey. Uh, price is about $34, depending on where you're located. Uh, it is considered a straight bourbon. Uh, the distillery is now undisclosed, and we can talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, but, uh, the company that owns it is Diageo, um, one of the, the largest, uh, producers of spirits. Uh, it's, a, it's again, release date is ongoing. It's pretty readily available. It's a 90 proof bourbon. Um, there's no age statement, which means that it's at least aged 10 years. Uh, and the mash bill is 68 percent corn, 28 percent rye, and 4 percent malted barley. All right, so there are the the salient details, and uh, do you have your glass ready? I, I do, um, I, as well as a question, but yeah, let's, oh. let, let's kick it off. So, All right, uh, well, let's take a sip and then fire away with your question. Sure. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, good flavor. My qu my question was what why is the distillery undisclosed? Is it ah made in Mexico? All right. What what's going on there? So Bullet Bourbon was produced at the Ancient Age Distillery until 1999. After the barrels that were at Ancient Age had run out, Bullet switched its bourbon source to Four Roses. Okay. Now, Four Roses is one that will absolutely <laughs> be a future tasting. But um, the reason they did that is um, Bullet was owned by Seagram's before it was sold to Diageo and Seagram's owned Four Roses. And so they they moved it over. Everything was exclusively uh, distilled out of Four Roses Distillery. And then uh, Seagram called it quits. They had all their assets divided between two buyers, Diageo and Pernard Ricard. So the Bullet brand was acquired by Diageo. Diageo extended the contract that they had with Four Roses mm -hmm. uh, to remain as the source for the Bullet brand. And that contract survived several ownership changes of Four Roses, right? Four Roses changed hands. And each time Four Roses changed hands, the contract that they had with Diageo to produce Bullet stayed in, in contact. Um, until about 2013. And at that point, I think Bullet became so large, it was more than what Four Roses could handle. And so Diageo has now spread <coughs> their production over, I think, a few different distilleries. And so it has, around 2013, it moved to a uh, unknown distiller because it could come from any one of multiple distilleries now okay you've done a, a lot of research on this i can tell great job well thank you and uh bullet was one of my kind of you know i refer to it as a kind of mainstream staple bourbon it it's been my go-to 
for quite some time. Um, I've recently kind of switched over to a new staple, uh, and it's actually going to be the one that I'm going to nominate for next week. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, I'm a fan of Bullet. It's it's not super rare. Um, it, it does tend to be more of that mainstream. Um, it's not a, a highly coveted, but it consistently... Um, ranks high in terms of taste tests. It's readily available. It doesn't matter kind of what bar or restaurant I go to back when they weren't all playing Tom Jones, What's New Pussycat 14 times in a row, and you could go to a restaurant or a bar. Um, you always knew that, that regardless of what their bourbon shelf looked like, they would have bullet. So it was just dependable. Uh, and for that reason, it's kind of always been my go-to. It has good flavor. I'm the makeup. What sixty eight percent corn? It it's got great flavor. Yeah. Now the twenty eight percent rye is is more than half of what's mandated for it to be considered rye whiskey, um, and that ratio has never been standard for a bourbon. But uh, yeah, it does it, it does have a high percentage of corn, but it also has a, a pretty high percentage of rye, and yet they also have a rye bourbon that even has a higher percentage of rye uh, but yeah it's quite nice and and judging by the look of uh, your bottle it certainly seems like you've been enjoying it as well yeah it's a it's a go-to for me lately i had some friends over and we we, we enjoyed this so i'm gonna have to pick up another bottle soon yeah what one of the things that i love <laughs> about bullet and one of the reasons i always kind of made it my go-to is it is affordable enough and, and kind of widely available enough to where you can use it for a mixed cocktail, right? So it makes a great old fashioned, um, but it also is wonderful straight. So it's one of those things where you can just have one bourbon on your shelf and it kind of covers all your bases, which is Ver nice. Versatile. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. I think that's going to do it for part one. Yeah. Um, let's get into the show. I'm ready. All right. So next we're going to kick off our discussion of Sons of Anarchy. Again, we'll start with season one, episode one, otherwise known as the pilot. And I want to ask everyone to, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, check out our channel for parts two and three. But most importantly, top off your glass if you haven't already done so. And do come back and watch part two. Uh, it's all coming up next on the Liquid Courage Show. Stay with us. <laughs>